Hey there, smart home enthusiasts, and welcome back to the official Yolink YouTube channel. So whether you're keeping your food safe in your freezer, managing climate control in your greenhouse, or protecting your basement from humidity damage, knowing the precise temperature and humidity can save you time, money, and stress. So today we're gonna to dive into Yolink's lineup of smart temperature and humidity sensors. Today we're gonna to break down four of our different models, how they compare, and how they can even work together with your smart thermostat or other smart home devices to give you total climate control. So today we're gonna to be looking at four of Yolink's temperature and humidity sensors. Each of them are tailored for a different use case, but are all built on the same powerful smart home technology. And as always, one thing to note, any Yolink device requires one of our smart hubs. The hub brings all your smart devices together and lets them communicate with other systems. Now, before we look at each individual model, let's take a look at the features they all share. Now, of course, each Yolink product is built on top of the LoRa wireless protocol. With up to a thousand feet in open air range, Yolink sensors can work in garages, sheds, basements, and even detached buildings. No Wi-Fi is needed at the device. All the devices that we look at today use the SHT40 temperature and humidity sensor. This gives them unparalleled environmental accuracy. All four of these sensors also use standard AA or AAA batteries. No specialty batteries needed here. And they each have a life expectancy of two to five years, depending on the model. And of course, with all Yolink devices, you can use the Yolink app to get real-time readings, set high and low thresholds, get notifications, and view historical data all with no subscription fees. You can also use the app to set up smart alerts to get notified instantly when temperature or humidity crosses your defined limits. Plus, all Yolink devices work with Alexa, Google, IFTTT, and Home Assistant. You can also pair with other Yolink devices for internet-free automations. This is great for freezers, Wi-Fi dead zones, or fail-safe automations. So if you're looking for a reliable, long-lasting way to monitor environmental conditions in your home or business, then you're in the right place. Let's take a look at the specifics of each model. All right, so starting off with our YS8023, this indoor sensor has an LCD display that can show you in large text both the current temperature and the current humidity. This sensor gives you everything you need, including a large, easy to read LCD screen. This sensor is best for living spaces, server rooms, nurseries, or anywhere you want to quickly check conditions without having to open your phone. It'll give you real-time temperature and humidity on screen. There's even a customizable comfort display that you can set to your desired humidity level, so at a glance you know if the room is dry, moist, or just right. And of course, all the readings sync up to the app for history and alerts. Plus, it can store up to six months of data on board, or nearly unlimited via the app. It comes with a handy stand in order to be placed on a table, plus it has magnets so you can stick it on something like a fridge. It also comes with a two-year plus battery life. So if you want an easy visual check at a glance, this one's the one to go with. Next up, we have our YS8017 Compact Room Temperature Sensor. This sensor is all about long battery life and compact placement. It has a small and discreet form factor that can fit almost anywhere. Plus there's no screen, which allows for up to five years of battery life. This is ideal for hidden places like storage rooms, closets, or HVAC rooms, but you still get the full set of app alerts and automations along with all the tracking. This is your set it and forget it option for long-term monitoring of temperature. Next up, we have our YS8006, the X3 Smart Temperature and Humidity Sensor with display. The YS8006 is part of the Yolink's X3 line of smart sensors that combine a sleek, compact design with built-in display and ultra-long battery life. The LCD display shows your current temperature and humidity along with battery level. And it comes in a compact housing at only 2.7 inches square and under one inch thick. In addition, the 8006 is a Class D device and can read temperature and humidity in real time. But this does impact the battery life, bringing it to about a two year average. Now the cool thing about this one is it's designed to actually go inside of things like freezers. So you could use this in your home in a freezer or even put it inside of a large industrial freezer at a restaurant. That way you can ensure you've got the right temperature range and set up alerts if it happens to go outside of that and get too warm. So the temperature range on this one can go from negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to positive 140. That's negative 30 C to 50 C. And it can sense a humidity range up to 95%. So if you want professional level temperature and humidity readings in a compact package with both app alerts and on device display, the X3 sensor is a perfect fit for you. And finally, we have our YS8007 outdoor temperature and humidity sensor. 
These are built for the outdoors. So this sensor features a durable IP65 rated housing and it can measure both temperature and humidity in real time. You can either place it outside with adhesive or you can hang it from something using the included lanyard. This is great for a greenhouse, a shed, attics, patios, and even more. Plus, it'll last over two years on its included AAA batteries. This will be your go-to choice for year-round outdoor monitoring. Now, if you want a quick reference to what sensor does what, you can check out this comparison table right here, and we'll also have it linked down in the description below. And as an added bonus, the YS8007 and 8017 sensors can be used in conjunction with our smart thermostats. This means you can set up room by room comfort settings. While using this in conjunction with our presence sensors, you can ensure that occupied rooms are set at a comfortable temperature. Another bonus with the YS8007 and 8017 sensors, they work great in both freezers and fridges to keep an eye on the temperature of your food. Now all four sensors are designed for a quick DIY setup. Here's how easy it is to get started. So first of all, you'll have to have the Yolink app installed, and of course you'll have to have your hub set up and configured. Once you're at the main screen, all we have to do is tap the scanner icon in the top right hand corner, and then grab any one of our devices and look for the QR code on the back. Once you scan that code, you can give it a name, you can add it to a room, and set it as a favorite. If you have it set as favorite, it'll show up on your first screen when you first open up the Yolink app. Then you hit bind device. Now, not to worry, if you see a yellow triangle on this next screen, that's because you haven't woken the device up yet. So to do that, you just have to press the set button on the back. So on the display devices, it's a simple set button on the back. With the compact sensors, it's this little clear button here on the front. Once you press that, the device will wake up and start communicating with your hub. Most Yolink devices are up and running in under two minutes. So let's take a closer look at some of the settings on the sensors. So if we look on the main screen, you'll notice that at the top left-hand corner, we can see the current signal strength. In the top right-hand corner, we can see the current battery level. Then in the middle, we can see the current temperature and humidity for each of the sensors. So if we click on them, then we get taken into the main screen. Now in here, we can see the current temperature, humidity, and dew point. And then below that, we see the current max and min temperature and humidity both. That's currently been seen for the last 24 hours. Below that, we've got our graph where we can go back at different periods of time and see various levels of temperature and humidity. If we click the more measurement data, we can go into a screen where we can set a time period to see historical information or click the export button at the bottom to output your current data as a CSV file. If we click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, we can change the name, we can set it to a room, we can go in and set an alert threshold. So in here, if we say this is gonna live in a refrigerator, we don't want it to go below 32 degrees, we also don't want it to go above 50 degrees. You can also do the same for humidity. And then below is the alert interval. This is how often the alert will repeat if it gets activated. At the top, we can select our alarm strategy, which if you want more information on this, please check out our hub video. And then we can click the check mark and it will activate. So anytime the temperature and humidity go outside of that range, you'll get an alert. Below that, we can also calibrate. So if you are noticing that you have two sensors and one is reading slightly higher or lower, you can go in and tweak that setting in here. On the sensors that have screens, you can go in and set a timeout where the screen will turn off automatically to save battery. You can mark it as favorite, go back to the history section we saw before, go back to the historical data for export, and then you can see the current state. This will let you know if the device is online or normal. And then below that we have all the technical data, including the model number, EUI number, serial number, signal intensity, battery, and firmware. And you'll notice that there's a little message under here that says ready now, indicating that there's a firmware update that I can push to the device. To do that, it's as simple as clicking on it and then clicking confirm. Then follow the instructions on the screen. Now all that's well and good, but what are we gonna do with this information? I'm gonna show you two quick automations that you can set up to keep your home or business safe. So for the first automation, we're gonna do a high temperature alert. So in this case, if we had a high temperature, say in our garage, we wanna turn on a fan to exhaust some air. For this, we're gonna need a sensor that can measure temperature and a smart plug. So to get started with our automations, we click on the smart tab, we go to automation and click the plus in the top right hand corner. We're gonna give this a name, high temp, and then we're gonna click on win. We're gonna click device actions. We're gonna select our outdoor thermometer and we wanna do a high temperature alert. So then we wanna trigger something to happen. So we can click on behavior, click the plus button. And first of all, we wanna set a notification off. We're gonna use the default alarm strategy. 
So we're going to set up a, an alert notification, click save, and then we're going to hit plus, go to device actions, select the Yolink plug and say turn on. So now when that outdoor sensor goes into a high temp alert, we get a notification and it's going to turn on that plug. So before we set up our automation, we need to actually define what our high temperature alert is. So if we go down to our outdoor therm thermometer, we click on the three dots and we go to alert, we can set our high temperature to whatever we want. So in this case, we'll say if it's above 85 degrees, you can also click the little pencil icon to set a more accurate level and then click check mark. So now that that's defined, we set up the automation, that's the level it's gonna trigger at. So in the same vein, we can also set up a high humidity alert. This would be great if you have a basement area that is prone to get water in it and you wanna turn on a dehumidifier. So for this automation, we're gonna need a sensor that can detect humidity, also a smart plug to turn on our dehumidifier. Now make sure that your smart plug is rated for the amount of power that the dehumidifier uses. So for this example, I'm gonna use the YS8023. So first thing we're gonna to need to do is go into our humidity sensor. So we'll go into its settings first, click the three dots, go to alert, and under humidity, we wanna set our humidity threshold to something like 70%, whatever it happens to be that indicates that there's too much humidity in the area. Then we'll click the check mark. So here on screen, we've seen now we have a high temperature alert in the app. So this is what it looks like if you have the app open, you'll get a little pop-up on screen. If you don't have the app open, it'll show up as a standard notification on your Android or iOS device. So now that we've set the high humidity level, let's go back in and set up their automation. So we click on the Smart tab, Automation tab, and then Plus. We'll call this one Basement. And then under When, we're gonna select Device Action, we're gonna select our Temperature Humidity Sensor, and we're gonna say High Humidity Alert. Then under Behavior, we wanna go in and create a notification, then hit save on the message, and then we'll hit plus, and go into device actions, select a Yolink plug, select turn on, and hit a check mark. And that's it. Now we have a high humidity alert. So now we have some automations that can automatically take action on our behalf and not just send us an alert. So as you can see, these sensors become so much more powerful when combined with other Yolink products. So let's quickly recap which sensor is best for your specific needs. The YS8023 is ideal for indoor spaces where you want a large, easy to read display, like living rooms, server closets, or nurseries. Plus having the magnets on the back make it really easy to stick to a metal surface. I have the YS8017. Temperature sensor is best for discrete, long-term monitoring with the longest battery life in the entire lineup. It's great for closets, attics, or hidden installs. Next up, we have the YS8006, part of our X3 line. It's a compact, modern sensor with built-in display, ideal for rooms where you want visual feedback without sacrificing performance. And because it can be used in a refrigerator or freezer, it's perfect to make sure that your critical food or other supplies are kept at the right temperature. Plus, it allows you to get real-time status at a glance. And finally, we have the YS8007. This is purpose-built for outdoor environments, greenhouses, barns, and garages. That's because it has an IP65 waterproof rating. And remember, all these sensors can be used as remote probes for the Yolink smart thermostat, giving you precise temperature control where it matters most. Now, if you found today's video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment letting us know which sensor that you're using and where. We'd love to hear your clever ideas for how to use our sensors. And please don't forget to check the description for links to each model and our full documentation. Also, feel free to comment any ideas for any upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.